welcome to my channel and if you've been here before welcome back this is my little platform where i turn struggling math students into maths masters and i post videos tuesdays and thursdays so so please subscribe and turn on the notification button as this really helps my channel and it really helps me make more videos for you that can help you with your exams in maths and mathematical literacy so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to convert between degrees celsius um, from degrees celsius to fahrenheit and vice versa this was a requested video so it's going to be a short one it's going to be a quick one I'll give you all the tools and the understanding uh, that you need in order to answer any type of question on degrees celsius and degrees fahrenheit all right so without further ado let's start this lesson <music> Great well. So, like I said, this is a video showing you how to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And like always, I like to start by what is Celsius and Fahrenheit and making sure that you understand these concepts. Firstly, both of them are units in which temperature is measured in. Okay, so in South Africa, whenever we are referring to temperature, we would give it in degrees Celsius. So when we um, predict what the weather is going to be tomorrow, then we would say it's going to be 15 degrees Celsius or it will be 20 degrees Celsius or 30 degrees Celsius. Right. Uh, but places like America would use the unit Fahrenheit, again, measuring the same temperature, measuring the same um, thing, but um, using Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's very useful that you are actually able to convert between these two units because sometimes you are working maybe with a recipe that gives you the degrees in Fahrenheit um, when you're placing a cake in the oven and then you are actually able to convert that to degrees Celsius. Okay, so Celsius and Fahrenheit are just two different um, units to measure the same thing. But now what we need to be able to do and what I'm going to show you to, how to do in this video is really just if they give you Celsius, how to convert it to Fahrenheit and if they give you Fahrenheit, how to convert it to Celsius. All right. So firstly, it's important to know the formula um, right for Fahrenheit to Celsius. So when I'm converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, this is the formula. It's easy to see because whatever comes after two must be the main part of what we're actually trying to calculate, must be on its own on the equal to sign Celsius here. So Celsius is equal to this formula. So that means I'm changing Fahrenheit to Celsius because Celsius would then be alone here. Then when we convert from Fahrenheit, uh, from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, we would use this formula. Again, Fahrenheit is, comes after 2, so that's why it is alone on the left-hand side here for this formula. So these are the two different formulas, and it's very simple and very easy to use these formulas. Um, so I'm going to give you an example of how to use each of them. Uh, these are formulas that you do not have to study for the exams. They will give it to you, but applying it and knowing how to use it is what's important. Okay, so, firstly, let's do an example where we are converting Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Again, after 2 is Celsius, so that's why Celsius is alone on the left here. So the question says, convert 105 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Round off to one decimal place. Now, these are obviously simplistic questions because I want to teach you the method, but in an exam situation, they will probably give you an entire scenario. Right, so... Given the Celsius formula, so there's two things. They can either give you the Celsius formula or they can give you the Fahrenheit formula. So I'm going to teach you how to do either one. Because in the sort of the lower level questions, they can just give you the formula and then you have to just use that or they'll give you the formula for the other unit and you have to sort of work around it. But I'll show you the difference. So first, let's just say um, if they give you the, the, the plain and simple formula where the C is on the left. Right, so there is your formula, and now they want you to convert 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So wherever you see the Fahrenheit in the formula is where you're going to add the 105. Okay, and then on your calculator, make sure you include the brackets here. You'll just type this as you see it, and then you'll end up with 40.555. The question says round off to one decimal place, so we will round it off to 40,6 degrees Celsius. So that means... 105 degrees Fahrenheit 
is equal to 40.6 degrees Celsius. So these two temperatures are the same, they're just in two different units. Okay, and what's important here is you do not have to add the, the degrees sign as you're doing the entire calculation. Uh, you can actually just make sure that you add it into your answer. Okay, now what if they're asking you to convert to degrees Celsius, but they give you the Fahrenheit formula? Okay, so this is where it sort of becomes a higher level question. Now, your substitution is going to be the same, but you are going to just be moving things around so that you can actually get the Celsius on its own. So I'm going to show you. So let's say they give you the Fahrenheit formula, right? Then what you're going to do is you're still going to take the information that's given from the question, which is 105, and place it where you see the Fahrenheit. Okay, so just like we substituted this here by the F, we are substituting this one by the F. Then what we essentially want to do is we want to get Celsius alone. But before you do that, we're going to first move this 32 over. Okay, because we move what's attached to the Celsius last. So you're going to move this over. And whenever you move something over, if you've watched any of our previous videos, the sign will change. So this is plus 32 on this side. Then if I take it over, it becomes minus 32. Right? And then on the left-hand side, I end up having 73 because 105 minus 32 will then give me 73 degrees. And then I see that this is just what I've brought down. Now I want to get the Celsius alone, so I'm going to take this over. But do you see that this is being multiplied by 1.8? So when I take it over, we're going to divide. So whenever you take anything over the equal to sign, you are going to do the opposite operation. Right, so that will also then give me the 40.55, and then essentially I will end up with the same answer as 40.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is just sort of where they give you a more advanced um, level question where they're asking for Celsius, but they're actually giving you the Fahrenheit formula. You must, you must know how to use the Celsius formula as well as the Fahrenheit formula, because they might not give you both. Okay. So this is how you would convert Fahrenheit to Celsius using the Celsius formula and using the Fahrenheit formula. Now, obviously, in the next example, I'm sure you can see that I'm going to be then doing Celsius to Fahrenheit. So essentially, again, we've got the Fahrenheit formula and the question says convert 28 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, right? Round off to the nearest whole temperature. So there must be no decimals in your answer. Right, again, I'm going to show you, given the Fahrenheit formula, which is what you want, because 2 Fahrenheit means Fahrenheit is going to be on the left, so that would be the formula that is given. Now again, you are given 28 degrees Celsius in the question, so wherever you see Celsius in the formula, that's where you're going to place the 28. And then this is just a matter of um, uh, 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 um, putting these values into your calculator, and you end up with 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so essentially 28 degrees Celsius is the same as 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. But the question says round off to the nearest whole temperature, so then I just have 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Fairly simple, just substituting. But what if they give you the Celsius formula? Okay, so if they give you the Celsius formula, again, you write it down as usual. And now wherever you see the Celsius is where you'll place the 28 just like we did here. So this is actually the formula where it's C equals to that. So now the C I've replaced with the 28. Okay, again, we are going to move things over by doing the opposite operation, right? So I'm going to move what comes after this bracket. It's divided by 1.8. So when I take it over, it becomes multiplied by 1.8. I find that answer, which is 50.4. Then you, what do you think must go over next? Right? The negative 32. But if I take it over, it becomes positive 32. And then if I add these two values together, I end up with 82.4, which rounded off again, gives me 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm actually just showing you how to convert between the two based on what formula they give you in the exam. And this is essentially the only way they can ask you to do these types of calculations. And what I want to emphasize is, one, you don't have to add the degrees throughout the calculation. And two, these formulas are given to you. So you don't need to study them. But it's important that you know how to use them and that you pay attention to what they're asking you 
what the formula is, and then where you need to substitute these values. All right. All right. So there's that video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you know where to add it. Um, yeah. And thank you so much for your support. I want to remind you, if you want to find, if you want to sort of find videos easily on subjects or topics that you are struggling with, I encourage you to please go to my, um, playlist. In the playlist, I have added all the videos for you according to topics. So yeah, feel free. If you're struggling with measurement, go to the measurement folder and you'll find all the videos on measurement. If you are struggling with um, maps, all the videos that I've created on maps. So I've really tried to make it easy for you to navigate the channel. So yeah, hopefully you'll find that helpful. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.